Today we're going to be solving uh, multi-digit subtraction problems with regrouping. So I'm going to create my problem first. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Five tens. And I'm going to subtract 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. So 50 minus 33. I have 5 tens or 50, and I'm subtracting 10, 20, 30, 33. Now, when I look at the um, place values, um, I look at the ones place, I see that I have zero ones, and I'm trying to subtract three ones. And I look at the tens place, and I see that I have five tens, and I, I can subtract three tens from five tens. But the issue is with the ones place here. What do I do about it? How do I get ones to take those three away? I have to regroup. So I take 110 and I can move that 110 into the ones place. And then watch my 50 over here. Watch what's going to happen. Suddenly 50 turns into four tens and an extra 10 in the ones place. Or I like to say 40 10. The 50 turns into 40 plus 10. Now I have some ones that I can subtract the three from. Okay. Notice something else before I do my subtraction. This little uh, key here for ungrouping or regrouping says, if you're regrouping, you take one away from the higher place value, minus one, which is what we did. We took one away from the tens. And you take that one and you add 10 more to the next place value down. Okay. So now I'll do my subtraction, 10 minus 3 equals 7 and 40 minus 30 equals 10. That's right. So our final answer, final, final answer is 17. Let's do another one this time in the hundreds place. I'll start with my blues. Uh, let's do 200 25 minus 118. Got a bunch of ones there. All right, here we go. Um, I can subtract one 100 from the 200. I can subtract 110 from the two tens or 10 from 20. See, I can do that. But what I can't do is subtract eight ones from the five ones. So I'm going to regroup again, or ungroup. And the rule is, when I ungroup from one place, I lose 1, minus 1, but I add 10 to the next place. So what's going to happen to this digit here? This 2 is going to turn into a 1. And this 5 gets 10 more and turns into a 15. That's right. OK, now I think I can do all my subtractions here. So 15 minus 8 is 7. You got it, 7. A 10 minus a 10 is nothing, right, 0. And 100, 200 minus 100 is 100, 107. Okay, let's do one more. We'll do kind of a tricky one. We're gonna ungroup. Uh, oops, let's ungroup across zeros. So let's do 300 minus 138. All right. Now, why is this tricky? Oop, what did I just do there? Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's try that again. Sorry. 300 minus 138. There. OK. So this is tricky because if I look at my uh, places here, yes, I can subtract the hundreds. But can I subtract the tens? No. I have zero tens, and I'm trying to subtract three tens. 30. Doesn't work. Can I subtract the ones? No. I have zero ones, and I'm trying to subtract eight ones. So this is going to be a double ungrouping here. Follow the rules of ungrouping. 
what happens to the first place? Minus 1. And what happens to this place? Plus 10. So what's 3 minus 1? And what's 0 plus 10? Let's see what happens. Boom. All right, just ignore this bottom part here. Sometimes it does that. Um, but look what happened. 3 hundreds turned into 2 hundreds minus 1. And 0 tens turned into plus 10, 10 tens. Now I can subtract my hundreds. I can subtract my tens. But I can't subtract my ones, so I'm going to ungroup again. I'm going to subtract 1 from this 10 tens. And the 10 tens are probably going to become... You guessed it, 9 tens. And the 0 ones turned into 10 ones. So this is what you call a double, um, a double regrouping or ungrouping. And our new number is 290 10, which is really the same thing as 300 if you think about it. 200 plus 90 plus 10 is still 300. But now at least we can work through it and do our subtractions. So what is 10 minus 8? You should solve it by the time I get these <laughs> subtracted here. Yep, it's 2. And what is 90 minus 30, or 9 tens minus 3 tens? Yep, 6 tens. And finally, 2 hundreds minus 100. And the final answer is 162. So the key to this whole process is when you ungroup, you subtract from the higher digit. You only subtract 1, and you take that 1 away, and it turns into 10 from the next, um, the next place value. Hope that helped.